were just talking to me about uh, logarithmic uh, versus arithmetic scale charts, and this is something that you know myself and uh, a lot of my friends, you know, the the, the younger generation of technicians, mm -hmm. you know, often kind of you know ask each other about. So I was kind of wondering, um, you know, if you would share with the audience a little bit of you know some thoughts on on the subject and why you prefer one over the other. Well, it's 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 really a very simple answer. Uh, obviously, the uh, linear chart t t shows, tells you just the point changes. The log chart tells you the percentage changes. Now, what's really more realistic? Um, I mean, you don't, you don't want to look at a $20 stock on a log basis on a chart. Sure. But if it's a $2,000 stock, you'd, you'd like to look at it on a log basis because it keeps it all equal. It's like yesterday, if I may bring it up, the chatter I was getting ready to go out to dinner last night and watch the news uh, and I was really appalled a bit to watch this young lady get up there and a uh, young man get up there and say that the market crashed yesterday at the close. <laughs> it was down 14 points or 40 <laughs> points or something. And they said on a base of 20,000, that is far, far from a crash. Sure. When I came in the business, the Dow was 500. If it went down 40 pence, that would have been worth something. So you look at it more rather than on a, just an, a, 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 no, a nominal uh, price scale, you want to look at the percentage change. So in this case, we're talking about one day to the next. What, what about longer term charts? You know, I've found, you know, the logarithmic charts in the longer term really add value. Would you agree? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Now, there used to be a service, and again, I don't know whether it's still around, but securities research charts that were published up in Boston, they had a red book and a blue book. Now, the red book was the New York and American Stock Exchange important issues over there. On a, uh, on a, on a linear basis, on a no nominal basis, uh, as, uh, as, as daily charts. So there was only like two or three months of action. But the blue book, that's the one I scampered for every month, those were long-term charts with 12 years or more history with a relative strength line that was on the bottom on its own scale. But you could take your straight edge and pencil and draw your trends in, and, and you could get those channels. And, and uh, I mean, I, I'd be amazed sometimes how well they fit, but you couldn't do it really on a, on a nominal chart, a linear chart, but the log chart, there it was. And of course, what you were truly doing was analyzing percentage changes. And uh, you know, so what happens when it's a $20,000 market versus a $2,000 market? Uh, is important, I think. To Do you think that there's any place in uh, someone's process as a technician for the arithmetic scale charts, or sure. do you think just leaving default uh, logarithmic is the move? No, 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 I wouldn't do that because uh, if I was a day trader, the log chart would be worthless. Okay. Um, I mean, percentages on a day trading basis are not really what you're after. You're so after then where's the point. cutoff? If you're looking at daily well, charts? okay, that's a good question. Yeah. It's like I used to try to explain to clients, here's, here are the definitions of my terminology. Short term, days. In immediate term, weeks. Long term, months to years. Okay. So when you, I don't use the word secular, I use the word long term. So that means I'm talking about months to years. So in this case, if you're looking very short term, arithmetic's probably the way to go, and probably, and probably an asset. 